I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, we are in the basement of the Riverwood uh, Trader here. I was hoping to be able to show you uh, the effect of investing in a vendor, at least on the Riverwood Trader. But I will have to show that to you uh, some other time because it. So, traders in Skyrim, they uh, refresh their inventory. Um, I believe every 48 hours, so I would need to wait until this next refresh. And it turns out that I don't have a lot to sell him anyhow. But I will be back probably several times over the remaining uh, episodes of this uh, Let's Play. So this looks like a reference definitely to Norse mythology. Odin was uh, one of the primary gods in that pantheon, and he had two birds. Um, let's see, so I do, do I have? I guess I am still carrying a lot of stuff. And there is an enchanting table in the basement, but I'm not going to bother with it for now. May the gods watch over Oh, well. You have my thanks, friend. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. So let's sell some of the stuff that we don't need. Yeah, certainly if we did want to... I guess elven gear really doesn't weigh anything. Well, the hooded Thalmor robes weigh a little bit. And they're already enchanted. like I've reached level of friendliness with him that he doesn't mind me taking uh, his ingots, which is good. So we're going to head up here and advance the Civil War quest line. I guess Felglo, uh, Felglo uh, Keep is the nearest, um, nearest fast travel point that I know. So we will head up there. So it's kind of strange that Daedric gear is such a thing in this game. It seems to be ebony gear that's imbued with some of the blood or essence of Daedra. And the odd thing is that the Daedra themselves seem to be, uh, seem to often have it. Uh, it looks like our enemies here have restocked. So let's just take one of them down and capture their soul. Actually, we can see if we can... Seems there's a, f a fight in the courtyard. I'm not sure what's going on. Well, whatever it is, it probably was a wild animal that strayed in. They seem to have taken care of it. Let's see if I can take out their... No. Oh, that is definitely not all that fun. But Jizargo will probably rush in and take care of all that. And so it is kind of goofy that the people here have managed to uh, bodily summon Daedra. Uh, so ordinarily when you see Daedra in the game, you'll know that somebody uh, did a temporary summon on them, and they will disappear as soon as that person dies. 
but in this case that is uh, not true and uh, these guys actually die and leave uh, a body which is nice because you can loot that body for um, for fire salts or I guess in the case of other types of um, other types of data you can get ice salts or I don't know if there are storm salts in the game anyhow I guess there are plenty of types of conjuration magic am I still heading in the right way? I want to be aiming a little bit west of here yeah not quite north a little bit west of north Nothing I really want from that ice rat, so I'll let my uh, my summons summon take care of it. Now, how am I doing on direction? Still doing roughly okay. A little bit west and up north, and I think it's oh, that's not actually an enemy. It's a non-hostile other critter. Okay. And up here, nobody allowed in. All frick storm nobody allowed close in. orders. All frick storm Consider close orders. Born. Consider yourself warned. So these are Stormcloaks, and uh, we're going to attack them shortly with uh, some Imperial Legion. Come on, Jazargo, come up. Let's go find the Legion before we uh, start the fun. So a little bit west of here. Not too far ahead, I don't think. See the mini-map again? Okay, so it literally is just over here, but it's not being shown very well. Okay. Good to see you, my friend. I knew you'd make oh, so this is the guy way back from the start of the game. Right, you'll be with me in there. I don't like the looks of this place. I'm not talking about the storm clothes. You too, huh? But never mind all that. We're the Emperor's soldiers. Yep, we will, we'll do, do our duty. They don't know we're here yet. Well, that's something at least. Looks like the damned rebels got here first. No matter, we have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. Follow me. So I'm kind of surprised that Ulfric himself wouldn't come to get this place, or wouldn't come to this place to get the crown. Yep. Here we go. Okay, so. Actually, this might be a better situation for a bound sword and shield. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. So they apparently just swept in here and killed a lot of uh, the bandits. And
So this crown is a long lost uh, symbol of the, of the monarchy in Skyrim. I'm not sure if it predates the empire uh, or not. Okay, so let's again have... Oh, actually, guys, can, can we let me do this with a bow, please? Oh, guys, we have to... Let me draw... No, don't charge, guys! Just let me take care of it. There don't need to be any uh, deaths on our part if you would just hold back. Oh, well. <sighs> Stubborn people. Here we go. Anyhow, they won't last too long, and I don't want to bother with them, so I will run ahead and see... See if I can just go and kill these guys quickly if I can find them. going. I do like that I can uh, cut these guys down right through their blocking. Uh, but yeah, looks like they've looted the place. duck. Okay, so looks, yeah, we've, we've cleared this place out. Let's keep going. Not entirely sure where I'm going. Oh, well, shields up. Oh, that is so nasty. And I'm kind of glad that the game doesn't um, doesn't put more effort to make these uh, realistic because it's kind of frighteningly violent as as it is. I guess it comes with the genre, though. Soldier, where am I going? Is there a passageway up here? Looks like it. Okay, spinny blade thing. And yeah, it looks like. Guys, don't come in here, not until I turn this trap off. Good. Okay. And this must be the Hall of Stories. Haha! It's dead storm folks who are not intelligent enough to figure out a door puzzle. Figures. Okay, so it is Wolf, Moth, Dragon. Good. Let's just make sure. And we will have 
Frost Tetranach in our left hand, and Bound Sword in our right. <coughs> There's, you could just let me take care of it. Oh well. Uh, oh, maybe it's this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is kind of stinky in here. So I guess auxiliary is me. I am the flexible unit that is used for all sorts of crazy purposes beyond just fighting. Okay. And also, since we moved past a door puzzle, Chances are that, that there are no more storm folks around here. And now, unfortunately, we are fighting zombies again. Fortunately, fortunately, they're not very tough. Draugr. Oh, I've never heard a Draugr laugh before. That was pretty awesome. So I will charge ahead while they're figuring that stuff out. My goal in this is to minimize their casualties. Okay, Frost Atronach in my left hand. Aha, uh -huh. and let's do a bound bow, because that looks like a dude that I'll want to clear from here. Okay, sweet, just two hits. But... So I think I, I really have taken... Oh, well, now it's going to be impossible to... Uh, do this right, so let's summon some friends to sort this out. Oh, I didn't mean to summon a flame one, but that is fine by me. Let's have a sword and... Let's cut that die down, guy down. Ebony gear. Yeah, so by this point in the game, uh, the, uh, we'll stay here we can find the game else. stops being stingy. And is this a word wall? This looks like a word wall. But let's uh, light it up so that I can actually read it. Ah, second level of the slow time shout. That is, as I mentioned earlier, I think, it is a particularly useful shout. I will take that, put Flame Atronach back in my left hand, and let's go back to Bound Bow in my right. And we are going to take care of a few other things and then head back to Solitude to uh, deliver the crown uh, to the Empire. Hey guys. I keep thinking I see something moving in the shadows. At least we got the damn crown. I hope it was worth it. It should be. <clears throat> so next we're going to take care of that blood chalice uh, quest for the uh, vampires. And after that we will return to the northwestern corner of the realm to report success on both quests.
really would make a nice bookmark. Probably. It's a little bit thick. Maybe a thinned version of this would make a nice bookmark. Okay, so... Oh, maybe we'll st stop by Riften while we're out here, too. Anyhow, Bloodwater Spring is a little bit east of the farm here. I wonder if swordsmen often bruise their um, bruise their hands, or at least uh, bruise their hands when they uh, use them in combat. Because it seems like if you were to hit something with a sword, you are going to be putting a lot of force against your palms. Maybe they would build up uh, muscles in the palms. I mean, padding certainly could help, but I'm not sure if it, if it could help enough. Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to want to head almost due east to Redwater Spring. How are we, how are we doing on pound? Okay, not amazing. Hopefully I can hold off until the end of the episode to, uh, to sell that stuff. Probably enchant and sell it. Maybe enchant smith and sell it. But that's definitely motivation. Oh yeah, so I, earlier I... Did I take that perk? No, I didn't. There's a perk that I was thinking about taking that causes uh, healing magic to also restore your stamina. Which is surprisingly useful because stamina lets you strike back with the bow when you block rather than uh, rather than just block and it also means that you can uh, suddenly get yourself ready to do some more running so pretty much if you want to go a long distance you can run a long ways then uh, transform, or I mean, I, I'm sorry, run a long ways, then, uh, and your magicka will be regenerating the whole time, then you heal up and you get all your stamina back, and then you run a long ways again. Very cool way to do things, so how am I doing? I am heading in the wrong direction. I should be heading due south now. But I guess there is a minor town back in the way that I was running, and I might try and stop by it while I'm in the area. Okay, and here is a hut that it has definitely seen better days. <clears throat> Howdy. I got nothing on me. If you're looking for skooma, head on downstairs. This is it. Skill book? Yeah, sweet. And it's a skill book. It's marked as take rather than steal. Uh, Gisardo? I don't see where he went. I guess I'll just head on in. Now, it would be tempting to keep on upgrading uh, Jazargo's gear as I find more ebony pieces and then Daedric pieces, but that's a lot of trouble and I'm probably not going to bother until I uh, get smithing to 100. And at that point, I will be making um, dragon scale armor for myself, which is the light version of dragon armor, and dragon plate armor for him, provided I keep him as a companion. I might switch to Serana, and I think she pref uh, prefers light armor.
She has the added benefit of not being uh, able to be killed. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in, and behave yourself. Certainly, sir. Go on downstairs. You're bothering me. Why, hello there. You seem tense. Join a booth and relax a bit. Since it's your first time, sure. Find a booth and enjoy. Don't like those eyes, you. How about you pay for your habit like everybody else? Take a look. So she has a pretty unique type of skooma called Redwater Skooma. And I'm just kind of amused by it. I guess I could sell off some of, some of this stuff since uh, I'm not really under any particular pressure to to get the best prices um, that I can get. And certainly with books, it's not like you can enchant books before you sell them, so... Now there have been runs where I've decided to save. So this seems to be a drug den. And this person is more interested in coughing than talking. So this guy is dead. What? Who? You're that one from Helgen. Barely made it out of there myself. I hurt my back and I... I just need something for the pain. And... oh, this is a bathroom. Can't imagine what it would be like just having a bucket to take care of, uh take care of that stuff for you. Not even any toilet paper or anything. Well, maybe it's just understood that toilet paper is involved. So, I'm gonna sit down and try some of this skooma. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, something's wrong? Oh, thump. That's the last of them. Orsads can't resist them. They get a taste of the Ah, taste. vampires. The water from the spring makes the skooma so much more potent. We'll have all the thralls whenever need. Good thing the boss heard that old farmer running his mouth off in the tavern about finding this place. Hmm? Oh, Jazargo, you tried some too. Sweet, telekinesis. That is... So that's one of those spells that's really more uh, fun than it is uh, useful. But yeah, you can pull things to you from, a, from a, a great distance. I don't converse with my prey. Oh, really? Well... I don't pray when I converse. No, that doesn't make any sense. Anyhow, I'm afraid that... You think you're the... you're the vampire? No. Let me show you a thralling experience. Okay, that is a terrible pun. Sorry about that. Mmm. 
Tasty. I do have to be careful not to kill Jotargo. Jotargo, why are you shooting the wall? So vampires can do uh, a limited subset of, uh, of interactions with the terrain. You can't open chests, you can't pick locks, but you typically can... Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's end it. Of course, we probably have different ideas about the right way to end it. My way involves slurping all your blood out, and your way... Oh, Jisarko? Where are you? I really hope I didn't accidentally kill him back there. Um, I am hearing a, a lightning-y sound, though. No, he's still zapping the wall. Why? And I can still... Well, it's kind of pretty, but not all that useful. Let's uh, see if we can talk to him. Okay, so we are back in the realm of the living. Jazarga? And he is still... I wonder if maybe... Maybe that will convince him to cut that out. Oh, and he is hurt. Not by me, but... Let's heal him up. Okay, hopefully that will make him feel better. Frost Atronach, Bound Sword, looks good. Okay. Now we can pick up some of this stuff. So I think moon sugar is one of the ingredients to uh, skooma. Anyhow, let's keep moving. Because ideally I would like to be back home by the time... Uh... Oh, I'm going to take a quick break to improve this uh, my elven gear. because that should Im improve the sale price and give me some uh, free experience with uh, smithing. Not a lot of free experience with smithing, but a little bit. Okay, let's switch back. Yeah, and this is, uh, again, a demonstration of why it's important to uh, Why it's important uh, to name your uh, name your gear appropriately as you enchant it. It, it turns uh, turns what would otherwise be a tedious search through uh, your inventory for the right stuff into just going down the line and uh, clicking on a bunch of stuff. Okay, moving right along. Where was it? Somewhere around here there's a passage that leads to where we want to go. And that looks like... Why, hello there! Okay, it didn't take too long. I think that there is a skeleton chopping at me, but skeletons never really... They're not strong enough to really bother you too much. If 
they are strong enough to do you a lot of damage, then you are probably not wearing enough armor. Okay. Now it looks like we're in vampire country. I think I see with my little eye an arm. A death hound, which Nasty way to go. But I suppose if you're gonna go anyhow, then uh, it doesn't really matter too much how the last uh, bits of your life are. I mean, I ideally, I think uh, ideally you would have someone with you to uh, hang out as you go, but you rarely. Um, well, in any case, that's that's an entirely different topic. So did we get everything we needed here? Looks like. And uh, what is up here? Is this where we're, we're trying to go? I think it might be. Step down. Head through the door. What I was trying to say is that if you are going to go, pretty much the good way to go probably is in the company of friends or family, people who care about you, something like that. Whereas if you have to be uh, killed, then th the pain of certain means of being killed is probably not a major concern. Although there are probably some ways where um, where there would be like a uh, more of a body horror than other ways. Oh, very astute of you, Jusarga. I see I shall have to bring you with me for philosophical reasons in the future. Okay, this is a sealed exit. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? I mean, that seems easier than running to school my day. The boss said it's some sort of profane spring. It looks like blood, but it's not the real thing. Okay, so how do I get down there? Strength, but it also gets you pretty much... Hello? Who's the... Thought I heard... Oh. <laughs> yes, take that. Now, I'm not sure why vampires have their own armor, unless uh, it's because vampires have their own culture. Vampires being appro uh, approximately human-shaped, it kind of suggests there isn't a, a great need for them to have armor that's particular to them, unless their vital points are, uh, are different enough. Oh, death hounds. But being undead dogs, there probably is uh, there's less of a humane reason to... Uh, get them out of there or kill them so that they don't starve uh, to death in a nasty way. Uh, looks like Jusargo wants to, to kill them anyhow. Uh, if that's what you want to do. Oh yeah, there's nothing that interesting down there. I think it's just a way to escape from the trap door if you happen to trigger it. Now did we come from here? I think we might have come from here. Brighten up the place a bit. Yeah, so maybe we head up the stairs. Yeah, as I said, I would really like to be in Riften by the time. Uh, I need to end this uh, this let's play, so we're gonna try and complete this with reasonable haste. Okay. Now, 
because we're likely fighting vampires, let's go with uh, Fire Atronox. And uh, shield is up. Sorry, Jazargo, I did not mean to hit you. Oops, uh... Okay, looking good. And one of the things that's nice about vampires is that they have pretty good taste. Well, actually it's the mortals that have good taste, but... They have uh, a nice aesthetic sense. Anyhow. Okay, let's pull the chain. I don't see anyone in here to impede my progress. Two different exits. This just has stuff in it. Oh yeah, I do not like this room. There are all sorts of irritating traps. Really irritating traps. And your companion will usually uh, trigger them all. So let's call a flame at her knock. Get a shield. Sure I can. I'm not a mortal. I am a vampire lord, and I'm a better vampire than you will ever be. Okay, let's close. Somebody is chopping at me. Oh, that's a named vampire. So he is actually an agent of the uh, of the people at the castle, and I have taken him down. Wow, that is a lot of gold and other good stuff. Okay. And ordinarily I would not have picked up that gear, but I don't know if I have that enchantment yet, and I would like to see if I do. Oh, so more red water skooma. Hmm. There's probably somebody nearby that I could uh, I could loot the corpse of uh, to get the key for this door. But I would prefer not to need to go and uh, search for it. And here we are. So they were waiting here to ambush me. And one of the nice things about fighting spellcasters is that if you bash them, you'll interrupt whatever spell they're casting. This is definitely an area where having a nice armor rating is very helpful. Okay, so they are gone, and uh, and we are done. Actually, let's scoop up the vampire armor too, and then we're going to head out of here and return to Riften, and I am going to do a few things off camera. Um, so you probably, you can expect that I will attempt to uh, level my smithing ability up a little bit more on some of the gear that I've gathered. And I might wander around between towns to pick up more raw materials for that. And I'm going to, uh, to go and sell uh, most of the gear that I get, probably in Riverwood. By now, the Riverwood uh, trader uh, will probably have 
something like uh, 10,000 uh, 10, gold. Uh, he'll have had time to um, refresh his stock. So from now on, he's probably going to be my go-to guy for selling stuff. Okay. Looking good. Is there any ore in here? No. So this is just a secret room behind the entrance here. Interesting. So they decided not to. He's not going to attack me. That's a little bit of a surprise. But I guess uh, when I was in combat, I wasn't uh, near enough this area for the uh, for the sound of battle to cause him to see me fighting here. So I will just uh, move on. Head out. Relatively peaceful exit. That's actually the first time this has ever happened. In my previous run-throughs, um, as soon as I stepped through that door, I had to fight the rest of the people there. But I was a little bit quieter and in more of a hurry uh, this time than in previous runs. I'm not taking the let's uh, let's play a lot quicker than I normally go, but it's moderately quicker. <clears throat> okay, so we are out of here. Well, where is? Need something? Huh. Weird. She's still. Uh, Still peaceful towards me. And in the next uh, Let's Play, yeah, we probably will wander through the, the Ratway and try and find uh, Esbern. And that is for the Dragon Quest line. And technically the Dragon Quest line, I guess technically is the wrong word, it's probably the uh, best considered the main quest line for the game. The Civil War quest line is, is big, but you don't really need to do it. Although, there isn't a well-defined end to the game. It's not like you do anything and then the credits roll. This uh, this tip, you move more slowly with your weapon drawn. That's normally true, but you if you get the right combination of uh, of skills, uh, you can actually uh, there are ways to move more quickly with your weapon drawn. You can move more quickly than you can walk, and uh, that's kind of fun. It's like you're moving around on a scooter. But more about that later. So, uh, th uh, this has been uh, my Let's Play of Skyrim. I'm Pat Gunn, and I'll catch up with you uh, in a bit after I've um, maged, uh, maged and smithed uh, this equipment, and I will probably give a summary of what I did. <laughs>